throughout the ages, there exist quiet but courageous groups of heroes who love and cherish the lives of all beings. With their great compassion, these enlightened individuals have a clear-sighted understanding that like human beings, animals are also sentient and are capable of feeling love, courage, protectiveness, pain, sorrow, and a range of other emotions. These individuals are heroes because they go against the current trends and social norm to live their lives as compassionate vegetarians. Their ideal is a noble one, and their compassion is truly admirable. Who are these heroes? They include past enlightened masters, yogis, spiritual leaders, scientists, artists, writers, celebrities, and our everyday fellow human beings. In admiration and gratitude, on our program we would like to honor these loving and compassionate vegetarian elite on behalf of our animal friends and co-inhabitants of our beautiful planet. Hello and welcome to Vegetarian Elite. Today we will take a look at the life of a modern day vegan heroine, actress, and environmentalist, Daryl Hannah. For three decades, she has been a familiar face in Hollywood and in the media. You probably remember Daryl Hannah in her role as Madison the Mermaid in director Ron Howard's romantic comedy, Splash, where she co-starred alongside Tom Hanks. In recent years, she has appeared in the media on numerous occasions as an eco-star. She feels that it is her duty as a human being to stand up against injustice. In an interview with Supreme Master Television, Daryl Hannah shared her personal beliefs. I always just felt like the most important thing to do was just to try to live by my beliefs and not necessarily, to, you know, to speak out about them or anything. But the, the, the more I realized that kind of not speaking out is, is, is allowing these injustices to perpetuate. Um, I've, I've realized that it's my responsibility to actually put myself on the line. I just have to bear witness and be out there and lend my support and solidarity to those who are, who are fighting the good fight and, and uh, stand up against injustice. If more people did, things would change. Daryl Christine Hanna was born in Chicago, Illinois, USA on December 3rd, 1960 to producer mom Susan Wexler and dad Don Hanna. In the first grade, when her mother was remarried, her uncle became Haskell Wexler, the Academy Award-winning filmmaker and cinematographer. Perhaps these family relationships steeped in the film industry helped to nurture her interest in movies early on. Diagnosed as borderline autistic when she was a child, Daryl Hannah was shy and seemed to live in a world of her own despite growing up in a big family of seven siblings. According to her sister, actress Paige Hannah, she was a very private, rather dreamy person with her own room and a please knock sign on the door. At 11 years of age, Daryl Hannah made the emphatic, lifelong decision to become a vegetarian. In an October 2008 interview with Jan Zeger, she explained the reason she chose the compassionate, plant-based diet at such a young age. I became a vegetarian at age 11 because I could no longer disassociate the food I was eating from the creature it had been. And I just couldn't gnaw on the flesh of creatures anymore. It grossed me out. The health and environmental benefits turned out to be a bonus. Often I find that when I do something from a purely compassionate place, aspects I never considered seem to benefit as well, illustrating how we are truly interconnected to all life. Growing up, she attended a private school in Chicago called Francis W. Parker School, where she played on the boys' soccer team since there was none established for girls. She started out learning ballet and later studied drama at Chicago's Goodman Theater. After graduating high school, she enrolled and graduated from the University of Southern California or USC in Los Angeles with a focus on literature. 
When she was 17 years old, Daryl Hannah got her first acting job, and a year after, debuted in a movie directed by the celebrated Brian De Palmer. Since then, she has been involved in dozens of movies that include Summer Lovers, Splash, Steel Magnolias, director Oliver Stone's critically acclaimed and Academy Award-winning Wall Street, The Pope of Greenwich Village, and Grumpy Old Men. In 1994, she wrote, produced, and directed The Last Supper and was awarded with the Jury Award for Best Short at the Berlin Film Festival. In the last 30 years, she's acted alongside well-acclaimed and decorated stars like Uma Thurman, Martin Landau, and Julia Roberts. While her fame grew as an actress, Daryl Hannah began to attract more interest from the media as an ambassador for the environment. In 2006, she spent over three weeks living on a tree inside the South Central Community Garden in the underprivileged South Central Los Angeles to call for the preservation of the garden. Daryl Hannah discussed with Supreme Master Television about her community activism to help save the establishment. Well, I first heard about the South Central Farm through my friend Julia Butterfly Hill and um, and uh, I, I do weekly video blogs on sustainable solutions. I have a website and I do these five minute short video blogs that I film on, on solution based and inspiring stories and I went down there to, to film a piece on them. I fell so in love with what they had done there and was so inspired by the people in the community in this gorgeous Garden of Eden that they would created in South Central LA. I was blown away. I had never seen anything like that before in my life. In the past year, the compassionate vegan actress has actively promoted the movie The Garden, a sterling award-winning and Academy Award-nominated documentary film on the biodiverse South Central Farm and its bid to stay in operation. I, you know, committed myself to stay and stand in solidarity with the farmers and to still it was one of the best solution-oriented things I'd ever seen. It gave safe haven for children in that area to play, one of the most dangerous parts of the city. It was organic, fresh food at a cheap, affordable price for the whole community, not only for the 375 farmers and their families, but also for the outlying community. They had a farmer's market on Sundays. They would sell it as well as feed their families. Um, so it, it, it also created a habitat for wildlife. So biodiversity came, you had bees pollinating, you had lizards and birds and frogs, and they had over 500 mature fruit trees. They grew medicinal plants, and so they, cre they passed down traditions. You saw grandmothers teaching their grandchildren about their medicinal plants and how to use them, and, 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 and you know, passing on this connection to the soil and, and how we feed ourselves and, and how things grow, and these kids were so healthy and happy. Daryl Hanna explains how areas like the lush 14-acre community garden assist in urban reclamation and transforming city sprawls into naturally fruitful habitats. One of the things about carbon dioxide is that plants like to eat it. It's one of the most carbon dirty sinks in the whole city. And that garden was cleaning the air for those people. It was just sucking it all up and super green and strong because it was just like saying, okay, I'll, you know, we'll, we'll rehabilitate the immune system of this, this neighborhood. Uh, you know, those plants, uh, I mean, it was just incredibly inspiring and beautiful beautiful place of what should have been replicated again and again and again. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television to find out more about Daryl Hannah's message for a sustainable world and what she considers to be the best solution to curb climate change. We will return after this brief message. Welcome back to Supreme Master Television. Let us find out more about the famed American vegan actress Daryl Hannah and her passion as an envoy for the environment. Her eco activities brought her to Ecuador where she spoke with President Rafael Correa and lent her support to the indigenous groups to stop oil contamination of the Amazon. She has also joined in causes to protect the whales 
Her video blog, DH Love Life, launched in 2006, focuses on sustainable solutions. Mirroring her life after her earth-preserving ideals, Daryl Hannah has also completely greened her house, which was built from recycled materials and runs on solar power. Even her couch is made of living moss, which she waters now and then. She sleeps on a bed made from lichens rescued from a rock under the foundation of her house. Her car is fueled by sustainable biodiesel, and she co-founded with legendary American country singer Willie Nelson the Sustainable Biodiesel Alliance, a nonprofit dedicated to developing practices for sustainability in the U.S. biodiesel industry. In an interview with Amy Goodman from the independent news program Democracy Now!, Daryl Hanna explains why we should use sustainable biodiesel. Our addiction to fossil fuels, I think, is something that everyone's greatly concerned about, not only because of the price of gas at the pump, but just because of all the destruction that it causes around the world in every single way, shape, and form. And the fact that we have solutions available to us now and other things, such as the deforestation and the destruction of our oceans. Climate change is of major concern to this famous actress and environmentalist. To reduce her carbon footprint and eat a more earth-friendly diet, Daryl Hannah grows her own food and shops at farmer's markets for locally grown, fresh and delicious organic produce. Her message to the world? Transition to a plant-based diet to help stop climate change. The best thing that you can do if you want to really uh, connect the dots and protect the environment, which will also protect yourself and your family and your loved ones, is to, is to, uh, is to adopt a vegan diet. It's actually the most impactful single thing that somebody can do um, b on many levels. A, because of the methane that's put out from the industry. It's uh, because of all the transportation and, and fuel and petroleum and energy that goes into raising those, uh, those animals that are treated so bad. So it, you, you actually can't really consider yourself a true environmentalist unless you adopt a vegetarian diet. Not only does eating your fruits and veggies help to preserve our planet, Daryl Hanna explains how a vegetarian diet sustains the health of our growing world population. We're going up to 8 billion people um, in population, and so we're going to be facing water crisis, food crisis, and we already are fa facing a lot of food crisis. And if people did adopt a vegetarian diet, then, then that could help feed a lot more people who are going to be suffering and starving. So um, there's so many reasons to do it, or, or just even take little baby steps. Give it a try. Give your, get, cut, it, cut yourself a break for a weekend, and, and then you know, kind of build from there. You don't want to uh, make giant decisions that it scares you. You take baby steps and, and every little bit helps. For her work in bringing awareness to the public about the sustainability of biodiesel, she was recognized with the National Biodiesel Board's Influencer Award in 2004. In 2005, she was invited to speak at the United Nations World Environment Day in San Francisco, California, USA. She also joined other celebrities in the Explore Your Environment campaign to promote environmental awareness. Aside from her repertoire of eco-awareness, humanitarian and acting projects, she has divided time to do fun things like invent and design two board games with actress Hilary Shepard. Thank you, Daryl Hanna, for lending your support to raise awareness for the most immediate solution of climate change. Be a vegan or a vegetarian. We appreciate you lending your star power to shine on notable issues and being a proponent of prevailing goodness. Everybody likes to segregate all these interests, so humanitarian interests, uh, animal welfare, hum um, environmental welfare, it's all one and the same. You know, And so whatever decisions you're making that are best for you and your health are ultimately going to be the best decisions for every other living thing. And you know, it all comes down to love in the end, so just spread the love and go vegan.